Okay, guys, we are going to talk about the Triangle Inequality Theorem. So there was a website that we included for you to try to draw these different triangles. Um, so you can definitely check that out. This is just my answer key version where I've already created them. So it's asking, can we make a triangle out of the side lengths 3, 4, and 5? So I went ahead and used that website and created that triangle. So does it make a triangle? Yes, it does. If it does, then we need to identify it by its angles and by its sides. So remember, when we're identifying by angles, it can either be acute, right, or obtuse. And when we're identifying by the side lengths, that would be scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. So go ahead and see if you can decide what these would be identified as. So by its angles, all three of these angles are acute angles. So we would call this an acute triangle. And if we're identifying it by its sides, it's a three, four, five. So all three side lengths are, um, all three side lengths are different. So this is an example of a scalene triangle where all three are different. Scalene. Okay. Go to slide three. They were asking us to try to make a three, three, three triangle. Again, I already did it. You can go to the website and practice yourself, but yes, it does make a triangle. Let's identify it by its angles and by its sides. So angles again, here are acute and our three side lengths are all the same, so this is an equilateral, equilateral triangle. All three side lengths are the same, makes it equilateral. Okay, is it possible to draw a triangle using the side lengths one, sorry, two, one, one? And I show you here, when I made the, the points connect, it does not make a triangle, it makes a flat line. So does this make a triangle? No. Okay, so let's talk about why. So the longest length is two, and the other two side lengths are each one. So if you kind of look, when I start with that two and I attach my ones on the sides, you can see they kind of just collapse down on each other. Um, so they end up equaling the same. Like there's not enough space. If one of the ones was just a little bit longer, if it was like one and a half, then it would be have just enough length for it to touch, but they don't touch until they are flattened down onto the longest line there. So that's gonna kinda help us with our rule here in just a few minutes. Okay, same idea with this one. We've got a one, three, two. So we had the longest length there, the three, and then when we had this one and this two go until they touched, when they touched, they were the same length as the whole long line. So there was not enough length on the two shorter sides for them to touch before they got flattened onto the original line. So this is a, no, it does not make a triangle. Okay, so this is what the triangle inequality theorem is about. It's about how you would know if a triangle can be made or created from various side lengths. And what we kind of proved with these is that if the two side lengths, the two shortest side lengths equal the longest one or are less than the longest one, then it's not going to be able to make a triangle. So the way we can check that is using this theorem. And the theorem states if you add, look at my triangle over here, I've got an A, B, C. So if you take side A plus side B, those have to be greater than side C. So if I take this side plus this side, it's got to be bigger than side C. Okay. Also, if I took side B and C and add those together, they have to be longer than side A. And finally, if I take C and A and I add those, they have to be longer than side B. So any way that I combine two of the side lengths, when I add them together, they have to be longer than the last side length. So every time you use the theorem, you could try all three ways, and that's absolutely fine. 
Or an easier way to do it is just always take the two shorter sides, and if they can add up to be the longer than the longest side, then it automatically works. You don't have to try all three ways. So I kind of just add my two shortest sides Okay, and then I want them to be, um, they need to be longer than the longest side. You have to do the two shortest one longer than the longest, otherwise you need to try all three ways. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice and I'll kind of show you what I mean. So without using that um, little triangle builder or having to try to draw this or anything, we should be able to check and see, does this create a triangle? So again, you can plug it in all three ways, do nine plus seven, do seven plus 11, do nine plus 11, or I'm just gonna pick the two shorter sides, which would be nine and seven. I'm gonna add those and make sure they are greater than the third side. So nine, plus seven should be greater than 11. Well, nine plus seven is 16. 16 is greater than 11. So yes, this does work. Yes, it can create a triangle. Okay. With the next one, I'm gonna take my two shorter sides, four and six, and plug it in. So I have four plus six is greater than 11. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 is greater than 11. No, it's not. So no, this does not make a triangle. If I tried to draw this one, it would be like, here's my 11, and then these two sides would be a little bit too short. They wouldn't be able to touch each other to create a triangle. They're not long enough. They only are 10 inches long or 10 units long total, and the bottom line is 11 inches, so it's too long. Okay. That's if they give me all three. Sometimes they're only going to give you two and ask you what the number could be for the last side. And a lot of times we like to show this as a double inequality. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like in a second. But there's also a rule for this. So what we're going to do is here it says you have two sides of a triangle that have side lengths 7 and 10 centimeters. We want to figure out what the third side length is. It's not just going to be one number though. It's going to be between some numbers. Okay, so we're going to have kind of a range here. The way we do this is we're going to take those two numbers, the two original numbers, and add them. So 10 plus 7. And we're going to take those original numbers and subtract them. 10 minus 7. So 10 plus 7, I get 17. 10 minus 7, I get 3. And this is basically the range that it's in. Here's the thing. 3 will not work. 17 will not work. So it's not from 3 to 17 because those numbers aren't included. So that's why we like to write it as a double inequality. So what that looks like is it's going to be some number is less than x, which is less than some number. Okay, I'm bring that down a little so I actually have space. Okay, so my two numbers I'm going to plug in are these the 3 and the 17. So 3 is less than what x is going to be. 3 is less than what that side length could be. And that side length is less than the 17 because the 17 is too big. Okay, so x is representing my side length, what it could be. And my side length has to be greater than 3 but less than 17. So we set it up in this double inequality form. Let's try another one. Same exact idea. So this time they gave me 8 feet and 6 feet. We're going to figure out what numbers it's between. We're going to write our double inequality. So it's going to be something is less than x is less than something. we got to figure out what those two blanks are. You go ahead and do it. Remember, you're going to add the two numbers and subtract the two numbers and see if you can get it. So we're taking 8 plus 6 which is 14, and we're taking 8 minus 6, which is 2, and that's what I'm going to plug in. So 2 is less than my side length, because 2 is too small, 
14 is greater than my side length, 14 is too big. So 2 is less than x, which is less than 14. That would be my final answer. And then I gave you a couple slides down below for you to practice. So if you will go ahead and go through those and then you can check the key to make sure you're on the right track. Thanks guys.